What's going on, YouTube? What's good? What's good? What's good? It's your boy Herb. I'm back for another one. It's been a long time coming. I know. I ain't even gonna bother y'all with all that small talk. I'm actually here uh, at this Home Depot warehouse about to get unloaded. Um, I'm just removing some of these straps off of this load. But man, I brought this video today to talk about these rates. Oh my God. What the hell is going on with the trucking industry, man? This is crazy. Rates are just not what they were before. Like, this is crazy. Like, the game has completely changed. Like, money ain't the same no more. Like, we not, we barely making nothing on these loads. It's, it's crazy. Like, people taking crappy, cheap loads. You know, brokers offering cheap loads. Like, it's just, it, it, it's not what it should be. It, it's definitely not what it, what it, it should be. Like, and, and that's, that's so insane. Like, I'm looking at the boards and I'm seeing what's available and it's like, yo, trucking is really becoming to a point where it's like, damn near wasting your time. Cause it's like, yo, why am I getting nothing but these cheap low balling rates? You look at the low boards, you see what, what's out there to be offered. And it's just, it ain't even worth it. It's not even, I, I, I'm really questioning whether it's worth it to be out here or not, because it's like, the money just ain't the same no more. It's pointless. It's like, what's going on? Like everybody's like lowballing on these rates. Everybody, I'm talking, you know, loads that you would have literally got five and six thousand dollars for, you know, for let's just say a thousand mile run or whatever. It's like those loads ain't even paying the same no more. It's it's crazy, man. Like, you know, and then it's like if you're looking at the market, um. The prices of trucks done went up. The prices of equipment done went up. Like, it's just a bad time. And I don't know if, you know, you could blame COVID or whatnot, but it's it's just like everything that, you know, has amounted thus far is just no longer that anymore. So I, I just don't know, man. It's like, it's like, why be out here if you can't even make and maintain the same way that you used to? Because it's just pointless. Rates are just not what they used to be at all. And I'm just saying to myself, like, you know, a lot of people, you know, are holding off. You know, even me, like, I have plans to, you know, try to, you know, get some more equipment and stuff. But at this point, it would be, I'd be setting myself up for failure buying equipment, especially at the rate of loads are today. You know, granted, flatbed is still doing better than, you know, the the dry van and reefer industry or reefer and dry van market. Flatbed is still doing better, but it's just, the money ain't the same no more. We gotta stop taking all these cheap, crappy loads and see if we could force the market back up because this is just, this is crazy. And you know, yeah, I'm with Landstar. You know, Landstar has thousands and thousands and thousands of loads on the load board. You know, at any given day, you know, there could be like 60,000 loads on the load board, but it don't even make any sense because it's like majority of that, those loads, they're low balling. If you're not in a good area, it's, you're gonna suffer. You know, everything now went from you know, maybe like a $3 and up average to now everything, everything now is, I mean, we'll be lucky if you're getting $3 a mile now. $3 a mile now is considered a decent rate as to where $3 a mile used to be, for the most part, something that you would see on the low board regularly. And now it's, we don't even have that anymore. Now all the freight is like $2, a mile i've seen loads going for like a dollar 25 a mile like it's making it harder and harder to make money it's making it harder and harder to stay out here you know this job granted you know it does come with some perks you know being a trucking you know it's easy for you to get ahead or whatever but now it's just like are you really getting ahead or are you really just drowning yourself in more and more debt because it's just like the loads ain't paying what they should be anymore like, it's ridiculous, man. Um, I don't even know what to say about this market anymore, this industry anymore. And luckily for me, you know, my, my truck is paid off. 
I wanted to get a trailer because, you know, the more equipment you have, the better it is. But now I'm, I'm debating on that. Like I wanted to get another truck, I wanted to get another trailer, but I don't even think it's lucrative enough to do anything like that. Especially not today's market. At today's current market value, it's just pointless. A lot of people be wanting to go owner op. And you know, definitely in the freight industry, that's where you make the, the bang of your buck is when you do become an owner operator, you know, obviously, you know, you put yourself in a better position, of course, for you and your family. But at this point, um, it's better off to stay as a company driver than to go and get your own truck because you literally be wasting your time and your money. The market, if you look at trucks that used to go for thirty, forty thousand dollars now, those trucks now, you seeing trucks 2017, 2016, six, seven hundred thousand miles on them going for what? A hundred and fifty thousand, you know, like that's just that that's not lucrative at all in the terms of, you know, you definitely want to buy low and sell high. That way, you know, you don't owe a lot on your equipment or whatnot, just in case you didn't want to get out for whatever reason, you could still sell and make a profit. But that's pointless to do at this point as well, because it's like everything is just is not the same.